In this tutorial, we will introduce the risk-free asset in our Markowitz Portfolio Optimization Framework and show the methodology to find optimal portfolio when we have both risky and risk-free assets. Many of the calculations that we will be doing in this particular tutorial will be similar to the ones we did in Quantitative Tutorials 1 and 2 on Portfolio Theory, except that this time we will have a risk-free asset in addition to risky assets. So let's start with a portfolio of K assets. And let WM represent the weight of Mth asset in the portfolio, and WN represent the weight of Nth asset in the portfolio. And covariance between RM and RN represents the covariance between returns of Mth and Nth assets in the portfolio. Summing over this, where M and N go from 0 all the way to K, we get the variance of a portfolio. Like in tutorials 1 and 2, we aim to minimize a half of this variance subject to certain constraints. Notice how M and N in this particular case go from 0 to K as opposed to 1 to K and the reason is that we have introduced a risk-free asset in our portfolio where W0 corresponds to the weight of risk-free asset in the portfolio. Since risk-free rate of return is assumed to be constant, its variance as well as covariance with risky assets will be zero. So we can rewrite this particular objective function as a half times the variance of a portfolio with risky assets where M and N go from 1 all the way to K. And CMN denotes the covariance between Mth and Nth asset. So we aim to minimize this portfolio's variance subject to the constraint that the sum of weights of all assets in the portfolio, including the risk-free asset, must equal 1 as well as the constraint that the weighted average return based on expected return of each security must equal the portfolio's expected return. So R bar denotes the expected return of the portfolio and R bar N denotes the expected return of nth security. We can easily solve this particular optimization problem using a Lagrangian. And our Lagrangian is as follows. L equals, we'll first write the objective function where M and N go from 1 to K. WM, WN times the covariance between M and N. This is the variance of the portfolio or half of the variance of the portfolio minus lambda times the first constraint which essentially says that the sum of weights of all assets in the portfolio must equal 1 minus mu times the second constraint, which essentially says that the weighted average return based on expected return of each security must equal portfolio's expected return. This is our Lagrangian. We know from quantitative tutorials 1 and 2 that we can take the derivative of this with respect to weight of each and every single asset, as well as the parameters lambda and mu, to solve for weights that would minimize the variance of the portfolio subject to given constraints. So taking the derivative of this with respect to the weight of risk-free asset, we get negative lambda minus mu times R0, where R0 represents the rate of return on risk-free security. Now taking the derivative with respect to the weight of first risky asset, W1, we get the covariance of first risky asset with all other assets in the portfolio times their respective weights. And summing over this, where N goes from 1 all the way to K, minus lambda minus mu times the expected return on first risky security. 
Similarly, we can take the derivative with respect to the weight of second, the third, all the way to kth asset, wk, to get the covariance of kth asset with all other assets in the portfolio, where n again goes from 1 to k minus lambda minus mu times r bar k. And now we'll take the derivative with respect to the parameter lambda. And we get negative the sum of all weights where n goes from 0 to k minus 1. And finally, taking the derivative with respect to the parameter mu, we get the negative of the sum of weighted average return where n again goes from 0 all the way to k minus r bar. We learned in tutorials 1 and 2 that we can set these equations equal to 0 and solve for weights that would minimize the variance of the portfolio subject to given constraints. So let's set each and every single equation equal to 0. Now we can easily represent these equations in a matrix system. So the matrix representation of these equations is as follows. Let this matrix be called A. And C here is the variance covariance matrix of K risky assets. And let this column vector that contains the weights and the parameters lambda and mu be called R. And finally, let this column vector of zeros, one, and R bar be equal to Q. Then the solution to the system is R equals A inverse times Q. In other words, the column vector that represents weights as well as the parameters lambda and mu has value equal to A inverse times the vector that contains zeros, one, and R bar. This is the unique solution. So we have learned how to solve for optimal weights when we have both risky and risk-free assets, and the aim is to minimize a portfolio's variance subject to certain constraints. If there are any questions or comments, please feel free to post. Thank you.